MOP, manner of payment. This is the status of the account regarding how the payment is being made. This is the most common area we find mistakes. So first let's break down these ratings. You've got zero for, for too new to rate. You've got one is current, two is 30 day delinquent, three is 60 day delinquent, four, 90, five, 120, six, 150 or greater, seven is that wage earner or bankruptcy plan, eight is the repossession or foreclosure, nine is that collection or charge off. So now that you've got those status, let's look at the types of accounts you can have in combined with a status. You've got R for revolving, I for installment, O for open, M for mortgage, C for line of credit, Y for collection, and blank for unknown, right? So now what's gonna happen are these two factors are gonna combine to give you a rating that you're gonna see on your lender reports. So you're gonna get that number and that letter combined and you're gonna see examples like I9 for R9 or IO and so on and so forth. So that's the combination of the type of an account with the MOP or the status of it. So now I'm gonna show you some common mistakes. This, this is the most common area that we find mistakes on credit reports and these mistakes are impacting credit scores in a way that they shouldn't. So here's these mistakes. They're combining an I known, they're calling a collection, an installment loan when it's really in a collection status and they're reporting past due which they can't do. Uh, you've got another account here that's coded the same way. You've got it coded as an installment loan when it's actually a collection which is therefore reporting past due. So this is the most common mistake we see on credit reports. These are the mistakes that have allowed us to help over 30,000 people since 2011 repair their credit in a quick and affordable way. So if you've got more questions about the MOP rating or uh, how we can help, give us a call. Our credit advisors would love to talk to you. We're here to help.